Dick Rickson here, truther, fighter, midnight rider. So I'm here to talk about Rachel Skidinski, a name that we all know too well. She's coming on here talking about a borlotti beans being turned the wrong way round. Now Barry is interesting, right? Because I did like, um, I did a little diagram. Barry has a B in it. A B has two D's in it. D stands for deep. So deep, deep fake. Come on, Barry. We know you aren't telling the truth. But pulses must be visible. So what's invisible then, Rachel? Tell us the truth. I mean, I wish she'd given me the opportunity to tell the truth before she, you know, fired me for, you know, supposed negligence. Me and all 14 of my subscribers are on to you, Rachel Skidinski. Dick, it's Charlie. It turns out that the Bellotti bean has 2.785 grams of aspartic acid. Now, aspartic acid, well, it basically stimulates your neuron transmitters. So Barry and the Bellotti Society are trying to shut down our neurons. I quite like the brains that I've got left, so we need to call this into action straight away. Detective Sergeant Inspector uh, Marm Deman here. I come to you with some very serious and credible intel to suggest that there is much more to this Bellotti story than you might have first thought. Intel goes that inside one of those cans of Bellotti beans, there is a nuclear warhead. Okay, we need to find it, and we need to find it fast. Come on, David. Where is it you had that can of Bellotti? <sighs> you think you can take credit for my work, don't you, Barry? You think you, you are the top banana, but I'll show you.